All right, man, let's talk about uh the Minnesota Vikings, man. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Uh 2024 uh preview of the Minnesota Vikings. Um uh, obviously we seen uh our boy JJ McCarthy for all the Michigan fans. Uh you know, go down, man. So they won't have J.J. McCarthy. They arrest on the arm of Sam Donald in the back of a quarterback they had last year. So, um, yeah, that's kind of kind of crazy, man. And uh, 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 yeah, it's, it's messed up, man. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, I'm we'll look forward to seeing. Uh, you know, McCarthy, you know, throw the football. He's starting to kind of percolate a little bit um, with the uh, – in the preseason. Um, but turned out that a torn meniscus or a completely torn meniscus when he out. Because if you get a slight tear of the meniscus, you can be back. But, yeah, he out of there. And be interesting if Minnesota get the number one pick, what's going to happen. But uh, this offseason, a veteran addition, Sam Donald – quarterback from the 49ers, running back Aaron Jones from the Green Bay Packers, wide receiver Trent Sharfield, center Dan Freeney, defensive tackle Jerry Tiller, D lineman, offensive linebacker Jonathan Greener, Greenyard, Greenart, a defensive end, also linebacker Andrew Van Ginkle, linebacker Blake Cashman, linebacker Camel Greer Hill, cornerback Shaq Griffin. Their early draft picks included JJ McCarthy, defensive end Dallas Turner, Kyrie Jackson. Um their offseason Losses, they let Kirk Cousins go, which, you know, he was there for a long time, and he had that one, uh, you know, he had that one, uh, yeah, he had that one uh, playoff win over Drew Brees. So, don't forget, Drew Brees tried to hand uh, Matthew Stafford in the Lions a, a playoff win. We kept dropping all the picks. But, uh, but yeah, Kirk Cousins, you know. He played pretty good versus they let go Joshua Gobbs. I think he got one of their receivers hurt. Might have been Justin Jefferson. Alexander Madison is going to running back. Wide receivers with KJ Osborne. He killed us uh last season or a couple seasons ago. Offense tackle David Queensberry, guard Dalton Riser, defensive end Daniel Hunter, down there in Houston, DN DJ Juan Mon, defensive attack, defensive end Marcus Davenport, now with the Detroit Lions, Dean Laurie, defensive tackle, and Jordan Hicks, linebacker and Linebacker Troy Dye and Greg Joseph a kicker. So, um, for the most part, you know we thought that uh, you know JJ McCarthy was going to be taking the reins. Now with Sam Darnold, and they got the backup quarterback who didn't do do bad, bad versus us in that last game. He just kept turning the ball over and throwing picks, but he was adequate, and I think he ended up being the quarterback for them. Surprised they didn't move for Jameis Winston or pick up Tyler Huntley, who went right to the Baltimore Ravens, who I think is a very good backup quarterback um so won't see much of him um probably thought they you know if jackson trade for mac jones they could trade for him tj hawkinson still out with acl they blame that on kirby joseph i mean you can't hit him high gotta hit him low but uh but yeah they still got justin jefferson jordan addison i don't think he got suspended yet um jordan addison you know truly took off last year when uh uh he truly took off last year. So they said he possibly could play in the season opener. I don't really have any hope for uh, Sam Darnold, but maybe it could be different in this situation with, you know, Kevin Stefanski. I think, is he the, you know, who's the head coach? Is Kevin Stefanski over there the head coach? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kevin O'Connell, excuse me. My bad. My bad. Kevin Stefanski in Cleveland. Kevin O'Connell. Where did he come from? Uh, I don't know. Where did he come from? The Jets. So, came from the – he coached on the Detroit Lions, too. He was uh, – I don't know what he was in the Lions, but oh, as a player, he played on the Lions practice squad. Okay. Okay. He played on the practice squad. So, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. But uh, Minnesota, man, a lot of things, people think they're going to be a bottom dweller. But, you know, they got Aaron Jones, good running back. Hawkinson eventually be back. I think they've been got rid of Irv Smith to tight end. Justin Jefferson and Ed Jordan Addison at, at wide receiver. So, um, Kevin O'Connell is a good head coach, too. I think they will figure out. He's a tall guy, 6'5", 225. Better not run up on Kevin O'Connell. But, hey, I think uh, 
I, 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 I think they, they not going to be number one pick horrible. Let me say that. I don't think they're going to be number one pick horrible. So I will say that. I don't think that's going to be it. They got too much talent, but they can be if they got quarterback walls. But they won some games without their quarterback last year. So I don't see uh, – I don't really see what would be the difference this year. They can just go back to him unless he got injured. And I think that backup quarterback – let's pull his name up. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the uh, depth chart. On a let's see, boop, 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 boop. let's see if we can get the depth chart. Which here we go. So we get the depth chart going right here. Nick Mullins, I think his name was. So Nick Mullins, I think that was him last year. Who was it? Oh, uh, Nick. Yeah, I see. I don't know. It could have been him last year. He told he he was throwing that thing versus us. Still got CJ Hammond running back. I think he played for the Lions for a minute. Uh Aaron Jones and Todd Chandler's they running backs. You know, Todd Chandler was nice last year for a minute. Uh they were receivers, Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, Brandon Powell played for the Lions. Uh Christian Dari saw they paid him. Uh so they got a solid offense, defense, you know what I'm saying, still coming together. A uh, bunch of guys, I don't know. <laughs> but Brian Flores made it do what it do. They added Stephon Gilmore, Byron Murphy Jr. over there. Harrison Smith been over there forever. Um, so, I mean, to be honest, man, uh, I think they'd be around four or five wins this year. Uh, with McCarthy, I don't know. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe around the same. Um, but I didn't have any, any, any uh, shot to Gary Bradbury, too, head of a center. Um, I don't really have any faith in uh, – and Sam Darnold. So, you know, they'd be around the five to seven range mark. I think they was feeling the way JJ was throwing the ball. There was a lot of electricity with the ball coming out of his hands in Michigan. A lot of people didn't see him throw the ball as they saw him throw the ball in uh in uh in preseason the way he was in it out or even in the regulars, you know, even in the practices and training camps they was having. So yeah, man, uh you know, you know, that is what it is. So I see them around five wins, in my opinion. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, check out the NFC North playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, uh, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.